Hello class, Mr. Schweitzer here. I am here to teach you about geologic time. Geologic time is a way of saying a really, 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 really long amount of time. And it's really hard for us to understand that because we live for only about 70 to 100 years if we have a really good lifetime. Um, and the universe is 13.8 billion years. So really trying to understand that is pretty much impossible for us. So we need to show it in things like this, a timeline, different types of timelines. Um, in this case, this is a timeline from the regions exam, and it goes by billions of years, um, and by five. So five billion years, 10 billion years, 15 billion years. If we want to talk about the age of the universe, we have to memorize that it is 13.8 billion years old. Now, 13 falls between 10 and 15, so our only option would be letter D for the age of the universe, or representing the Big Bang. Um, now, the formation of our solar system, aka the formation of the sun, the, form the formation of the earth a little bit later, um, that was about 5 billion years ago for the sun, but the earth was 4.6 billion years ago. It formed 4.6 billion years ago, which is a bit before 5 billion years. That's going to be letter B. A crazy thing is, if we wanted to know where the dinosaurs went extinct, um, that was 65 million years ago. Not even billions, 65 million years ago. That would be just about right here, right next to present day. If we were to understand when humans, well at least uh, human genetics, our species, um, really became who they are today, that was about 250,000 years ago. So if we were to look at where that is, here's present day, humans becoming humans was about right there. Did you see me move my finger? Here's present day, here's uh, our, the most ancient human. Ancient Egypt would literally be uh, almost on the present line. So just to let you know, humans are very, very young. We lived on, in, we've been in the universe for less than 1% of the time that the universe has been around. Next, if you see this word, geologic, in any question, 98% of the time your answer will be on this big page. Yes, I understand, it looks like a mess. It looks like an absolute mess. Um, there's words and bars and lines and maps and uh, mountains and gray areas and fossils all over this, but I'm gonna try and make sense of this. Uh, the first thing you've gotta know is that you see the word geologic in a question, geologic or geologic history, geologic eon, geologic era, geologic period, geologic epoch, it's gonna be on here. And if it's not on here, it's gonna be on the New York State map. But let, don't even worry about that yet, we'll get to that. Um, this is where you're gonna find it. So eons are really, really long amounts of times. They go all the way back to the formation of the Earth, which was 4.6 billion years ago. In this case, this is in millions of years, their, their, uh, their scale. So they made it 4,600 million years. That's a really complicated way of saying 4.6 billion years ago. Next is going to be eras. But before I talk about that, I wanna point out this bold black line. This bold black line is one of the most important lines on this entire, entire chart. Um, so what I want you to see is that all of this stuff, up to 550 million years ago, all of this stuff is all the history that you've ever heard about uh, for the Earth, besides really like its formation and the formation of basic like cells. So if we were to just follow this black line, all of this stuff here, happened in this short period of time compared to the entire age of the Earth. So those are broken into three eras. The Phanerozoic is broken into three eras. The Cenozoic, the Mesozoic, and the Paleozoic. So if they ask you about what era did something happen, your answer is gonna be one of these three things. Now if they ask you about what period, you've got a lot more options for that. But that doesn't mean it's any more complicated. All you have to do is find the thing that they're asking you about. In most cases, they ask you about life on Earth. So, they'll ask you a question like this. During which geologic period did plants and animals first appear on land or uh, inland environments? What you're gonna do is you're just going to search this entire page for 
uh, plants and animals first appear in land environments. Just look for it. Take your time. Find it. When I took the Earth Science Reading Exam, they asked a very similar question. I don't remember what it was, but I remember it was on this page. And it took me seven minutes to find it. I was freaking out because I was like, I know it's here. It's on there somewhere. I just have to actually find it. So during which geologic period, I see the word geologic, it's going to be here. Period is going to be somewhere here. These are where my answers are. It's going to be one of these. So all I have to do is look through life on Earth. If I can't find it here, I look over here. If I can't find it here, I will look over here. And it will be somewhere on there. Now. These have a bunch of letters. The letters match up with these options down here. So let's just take a look through. If I look through all of the life on Earth, I will find earliest land plants and animals. I'll look over. Uh-oh. Where's period? Let me just look up real quick. Oh, here's period. So I'll look back down. Oops, sorry. I'll look back down. Period, 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 period. Earliest land and plant animals are in the Silurian period. Nice. Let's try one more practice problem. At the end of which geologic, I see the word geologic, it's gonna be here, era, here is era, at which geologic era did trilobites become extinct? Give me a minute, give me a minute. Thank you, sorry. Uh, at which geologic era did trilobites become extinct? So what we're gonna be doing here is we're just going to search for the word trilobite. It actually appears twice in here, but I want to show you this. Here's trilobite. This is a bar representing when trilobites were around, and then it ends right here. So I look over, I look over. So here's trilobites. Oh, and it also says it here. Um, marine extinction of trilobites. So I look over, over, over. The end of the Paleozoic is when the trilobites went extinct. So here it is, the bar for trilobites. They stop here. I read over, 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 over. There it is, the end of the Paleozoic, which really, on the grand scheme of life, was pretty recent. Okay? So, that's the basic introduction to this. My main point is, if you see the word geologic, you just look here, and then you make sure it's a question asking me about an eon, an era, a period, an actual date. They have actual millions of years along this middle column, all right? And you just find it on here. Take your time. No rush. You have three hours to take the regents, okay? Good luck.